Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, outside today at Les Bolstead Golf Course on the driving range with Mr. Jake Montgomery, Master Club Fitter at our Minneapolis store. And um, Jake, we've got a fun head-to-head -head here. I would say these are probably two of the most popular drivers of the year. Absolutely. Uh, the TaylorMade QI10, just the core standard model, mm -hmm. the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. So yep. um, we're gonna do just a head-to-head -head test. We've got mm -hmm. launch monitor, we've got Jake to do some swinging today. We've got some brutal conditions, by the way, to hit tee shots today. So bear with us here. The wind is going like that and yeah. it's pretty strong, but um, talk to us about those two models, mm -hmm. what you've seen from each so far this year. Absolutely. So I would say, first thing with QI10, low spin for a core model. Okay. This is not their LS model. I have definitely fit the most people into this. I usually see about two to 300 RPMs lower spin than other max or really? kind of okay. mid forgiveness models there. With AI Smoke, it's ball speed. If someone needs more efficiency on an off-center strike, this smart face does a really good job of maintaining that ball speed. Yeah. If you look on the inside of this face here, it's like a mountain range. They have a bunch of different thicknesses. That is all to maximize ball speed at each location on this face. Yeah. The QI, this thing is all carbon. They are able to reposition that weight for launch and spin pretty much however they want. Yeah. So that's kind of how I see these two models when I'm explaining them to golfers. We'll see what the results show us today. Yeah, it is kind of interesting to see the different, I guess, strategies that mm -hmm. TaylorMade and Callaway have taken to providing that forgiveness. The TaylorMade side is, is just weight optimization yep. of putting the weight in the right spot to optimize the performance on center or off center hits. Mm -hmm. With the Callaway, it's the face structure primarily, right? With the different thicknesses on the face, we've talked about the AI smart face um, and how it's, you know, it's, it's that design of the, the structure of the face is such that no human could think of it, right? That's yeah. kind of the idea is that it's it's a computer made or computer designed mm -hmm. club face. So, um, and also talk to us about the, cl the shafts we got today. Yes. We have, we're going with uh, Ventus in these Ventus TR to us Blue 6X. Okay. So these are, mid-launch low spin shafts. They fit a wide range of golfers. Most people need a little more help getting the ball up in the air in terms of a launch angle standpoint, yeah. assuming their spin is in a good place. Right. We're spinning the ball at 35, 4,000. Don't necessarily need higher launch, went that a little lower, Sweet. let the spin take it up. But for most people, this shaft works very well, very stable, pretty good for the spin. Sweet, yeah, so I'm excited to see what happens here mm -hmm. today. We're gonna normalize the buttons on the, yep. on the uh, or normalize the data on the, mm -hmm. on the launch monitor, so that'll help us out today. Uh, but yeah, TaylorMade QI10, Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max. Let's get after it here. Absolutely. I have no idea where that golf ball is. It felt is. pretty good. It's just slight cut. I, I looked up and I saw nothing. Spinny. One ton club speed. A little speed. spinny there, but some good ball speed and good carry numbers there for sure. And again, hitting into the wind here, it's mm -hmm. a little bit different than hitting in a nice indoor tour van bay. Then we'll the spin back down, yep. 1 1.50 on the smash. Both of those balls carried exactly 272 yards. We'll take that. That was a draw. So yeah, 2083 on the spin with that ball. Yeah. 267 to carry, just a little bit kind of a lower launching, maybe a slight mm -hmm. miss hit there for you. Ooh, that ball should not spin at that all. That one is a beautiful shot with this with this wind. That was so toey. 263, yeah, kind of like a knuckler there. Yeah, didn't, yeah the, the smash factor does show 144, yeah. so not quite a perfect strike there. But mm -hmm. to see the ball still, you know, bound out there to 278, yeah. it's worth something. Mm -hmm. That's going to be spinnier. All right, so we've got, mm -hmm. we've got our five shots here. Yeah. Um, the QI-10, first of all, just tell me what you see when you look uh, down at that one. Uh, you know, what kind of, you know, do you like the shape? Do you like how the way the crown is set up? All yes. those things. I like the look quite a bit. I mean, I like a more traditional kind of glossy finish there. This sits a little bit more open as well, which to me is usually kind of a drawer of the golf ball. That looks very good. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the red face, but the blue face doesn't bother me at all. It looks almost black at a dress, so it doesn't oh, yeah. kind of catch your eye too much there. It just sets up, the best way you can describe it is clean. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think they've cleaned it up nicely. I also agree with you on the red face. Mm -hmm. It was, when I would hit that, it was almost difficult for me to like align myself yeah. straight. Just with, you know, you couldn't really tell what was centered, what wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like the blue face a lot more. Yeah. Uh, let's kind of look at some averages here. So your average carry there was 266. Yeah. 
on the spin rate, we're talking about 2702. So that is um, pretty good considering I was hitting it pretty much all. Yeah, over there was the a face. couple of low, like low face shots that you yep. mentioned that you thought were gonna kind of spike up mm -hmm. there into the mid 3000s yep. that really stayed kind of low. So mm -hmm. um, that's worth noting there. Um, the ball speed that we'll talk about 163.2, pretty good. Yeah. There's a couple there. Your, your club speed actually went up above like I think it was 112, 113. Yeah. So uh, you're you're kind of getting the groove loose. of things out here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll also talk about launch at 11.0 on average, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about the apex height as well is on average 100 feet. Yeah, so, that's pretty much right where I want it. So a lot of really good numbers there from mm -hmm. the QI-10. Um, now we've talked a little bit, or you mentioned the Paradigm AI smoke, some of the things that you would, I guess, that differentiate it from the QI-10. So I guess yeah. based on the numbers that we've talked about mm -hmm. here, what would you expect from that one? I'd expect to see a little higher ball speed. Like okay. I said, that thing does really good in ball speed on a miss hit. Um, spin rate might be a hair higher yeah. than this, just because, like I said, for a max model, this is a pretty low spin. Um, I'm curious to see which one wins out in dispersion, because in my fittings, it really is 50-50. Is it? You never really know what driver's going to suit a player best until you try it. Um, every company has a driver trying to do the same thing. It's just which one fits best with your swing. Right, yeah, that's where we always try not to say the best driver of the year is this, because it really it does vary person to person. Yeah. Now we have maybe some drivers that fit into more people, mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't mean it's the best one, especially for you, the, the viewer watching this. Yeah. So, um, all right, let's go grab the Paradigm AI Smoke Max here. Let's do it. That was hit pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good ball yeah. there. 272, spin was down nicely as well at 2298 for that one. Um, yeah, you, you definitely caught that one in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a little a great... pull there, but pretty good contact. Yeah, I mean, a slight pull, but that's, I mean, I also think it's it's showing up to you visually. It's more a than little it more is because of the wind. Than, than the, yeah, you got to keep that in mind there. But that one's at 2,700 spin, okay. 262. Um, really good there. Peak uh, height was 99 feet. What was my smash on that? Because it didn't feel completely centered. It was 149 on the okay. smash. I'll now, take that. So. Oh yeah. Wind is taking that draw a little farther left yeah. again than than uh felt real good. Yeah. Wow, that's low spin. That is low spin. Look at that. 1739. I'm curious what's gonna end up with the ball speed here because you were well, I think it was 163 with the QI uh -huh. 10. So I think I was swinging that one a little quicker. You were, you were definitely the smash factor comparison, I believe this one's more efficient so far. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was caught pretty well. That's a perfect tee shot for a day like today. Yeah. A little lower. Low piercing 165 draw. 165 ball speed. There is a 1900 ball speed. Spin. 1900 spin. This it's looking thing, pretty good so far. This is, uh, I don't know what you're playing for a driver, <laughs> but this is a pretty darn good setup right here. I am liking the numbers we're seeing. Yeah, let's get, let's get one more good one here. This is pretty good. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that was probably the best shot of the day. Jake Montgomery came to play today, folks. 163 ball speed. Whoa. Low, low spin. That that feel like a knuckle or a little bit high on the I face? I mean, it was a little high on the face okay. there. Interesting there. So we have a we have a pretty clear difference in spin yeah. rates here. Now, granted, this is a small sample size. Uh, We're using the, well, they are nice range balls, but yeah. they're range balls nonetheless here at Les Bolstead. So mm -hmm. things to consider. However, um, I'll bring up the differences here. We got a two yards further in carry with the AI smoke. Yeah. Um, 268 to 266. Mm -hmm. The total difference, or excuse me, total distance is nine yards further yeah. with the AI smoke because of that, that spin rate, that lower spin, which we'll get to here. Uh, 2702 with the QI 10, 2024 wow. with the AI smoke. So, and that is uh, probably a little bit to do with hit location. Unfortunately, 100%. this does not show the hit location, yeah. so we're not going to be able to bring that up. But you commented a couple times about how you felt like the QI 10, you hit them low on the face, and yeah. this one, you were I almost hit this higher on the face. Way more center. Yeah. And spin rate does not surprise me that it was better, just yeah. purely from a context standpoint. I added more spin to that QI-10 by hitting it the way that I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the smash factor comparison on this? Yeah, team? let's do that. Let's do that. The smash factor, QI-10 average, 147. Yeah. AI smoke was 148. Yeah. So oh, cause I remember a couple of, there was a 144 that you had with the QI-10, I believe, yep. on one of those low face swings. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something to note there. But I do want to say the, the like, I'll show you the ovals here, but look yeah. how, despite how the, the red circles there, despite how maybe inconsistent you were, mm -hmm. I, I 
try not to you know disparage you a little bit but the qi10 you weren't as consistent but the oval is still very you know it's it's a narrow oval meaning that distance didn't vary that 100 that's something we very much look for in the bay a lot of people have a really long left miss because it doesn't spin at all and a very short right miss yeah if we are hitting it left side of the fairway, right side of the fairway, maybe leaking to the rough a little bit, but it's a straight line across. Yeah. I love that because yep. then your shots are a lot more consistent and predictable. Yep. And you, you know, too, uh, when you're out there on the golf course, you have a pretty solid range of, of distance that you know mm-hmm. your driver's going to go. Even if you hit it off the heel or yep. you hit it in the toe, mm-hmm. uh, you still, you're going to get that same distance there. So um, a couple other things to note, I'm just going to bring up the average height. You're hitting the QI-10 higher as well, mm-hmm. probably due to that spin. Yeah. 100 feet versus 90 feet. And then uh, the launch angle as well, worth noting, very, very similar there. Mm-hmm. So 11.3 to 11. So yeah. very comparable. Um, so again, it really just, it comes down a little bit to how you were hitting the ball a little mm-hmm. bit. But I think we saw great performance from both of these in different areas, depending yeah. on what you're looking for, right? Absolutely. So you got like the QI-10 was very, very forgiving, mm-hmm. very um, generous on maybe not so good of swings by you. It made me say. look a lot better than I hit it. Yeah. And then the AI smoke was just extending your powers yep. a little bit there, the low spin there. So um, I guess in terms of, to kind of start wrapping this up mm-hmm. with a very, you know, kind of a quick head to head here outside, dealing with the wind and everything, yeah. but to kind of provide that synopsis of these two drivers, mm-hmm. if someone's watching this, they're kind of still like, yeah, I'm not really sure after watching this, what would you say? Yeah, so I mean, I would say, we saw what I kind of expected with the ASMO. A little yeah. faster ball speed, it was getting out there pretty far. Um, the spin rate that we had out of that QI was very good for where I was hitting it. Usually heel strike for me is like 3000 RPMs to spin. Yeah. I don't think we got much above 20. I think there was one or two that were over 3000, but yeah. the, I mean, for the, for the average yeah, to be, be at 26. still in that 27 mm-hmm. range, 26 range yeah. is really good. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this to me just kind of proves my point of why you should come in and get fit. Yeah. This driver was clearly better for me, the ASMO. Yeah. I hit it better. I hit it more centered. I hit it straighter. I hit it further. Yeah. Um, there isn't an inherent reason as to why I liked this driver more than the QI. They're both fantastic drivers. This one just worked better with my swing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, it's, as we mentioned before, it's, it's all about how it works for your swing. And that's going to vary a lot from club head to club head. And that's why at second swing, we love to fit the club head first because yep. uh, the way your swing reacts and the ball reacts out there is going to be different for me or for you uh, and for the, you, the viewer at home. So Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max, TaylorMade QI-10, two awesome drivers in 2024. They've been super popular so far, both in the fitting base. And then of course, if you're watching golf on TV, you're probably seeing a lot of players using them as well. So mm-hmm. uh, go get fit, get with someone like Jake and uh, find out which of them is better for your swing. So Jake, thanks again for joining us today. This was some great stuff. No problem.